Hey, what's up everybody? This is Doc from TankTerrorist.com. Just showing you my Savannah Monitor enclosure here today. This guy is in his water right now. I don't know if he's going to take a drink or if he's going to go for a dip. But that's our Savannah Monitor. We actually got him a couple months ago, uh, kind of as a rescue. He was in an 18-inch by 18-inch bird cage with uh, like mulch clippings on the bottom. And he was actually the size you see him now. He's actually a little smaller now than when we got him because he was really obese. Uh, he was eating hot dogs and hamburger. Um, now he's eating a little better diet, but he's still very picky. Um, but there he is. He's going to go for a little dip now, or he's going to climb on through and go hide in the back. I think he's going to go for a little hide there in the back. He's not too thrilled with being filmed, I don't think. Nope. But yeah, this is the enclosure. Uh, it's 4x2x2. Two two. We had to build it in a couple of hours one day. Uh, we didn't really have any notice on it. The far left side here has four tiles stacked up uh, for his basking spot of 130 degrees via the three bulbs up here. Just halogen bulbs. Uh, give you a little better view here. There's a 50, a 35, and a 75 watt. That just happens to be the combo that it took to get the tiles to 130. Depending on your tank, it may differ. There's one other lamp up top here. Uh, it's just for nighttime to keep the temperatures up. The ceramic tiles also hold a bit of heat. So as the night goes on, they slowly cool down uh, since they heat up all day. Logs just there to help him get in and out of his tote. Uh, since I couldn't do the entire bottom of this enclosure filled with uh, the dirt mix, which is 50-50 clay sand and topsoil mixed. Uh, since I couldn't fill the bottom, which by the way is just stick on tiles to sort of make it, you know, waterproofish. Um, and I apologize for all the stuff here. In the month or so he's been in this uh, enclosure, he's already scratched the acrylic beyond repair. Um, but yeah, that's his dirt tub. Um, goes and hangs out in there. And then, as you can see, there's a gap. Uh, you can't really see him, but he's back there in the corner. Stays nice and cool and humid back there for him. Um, <coughs> you've got your temp and humidity gauge up here. And I've also got some other probes uh, hanging in there, as you can see. And I use a uh, temp gun to measure uh, surface temperature. I'll show you a little example of uh, the surface temperature of these tiles how I measure it. This is a uh, heat gun infrared thermometer. You just point it at what you want to read. The spot I just hit was 116. If I shoot the temp gun back here where he's sitting, you get 71. Shooting in his dirt, you get 76. 76 on both sides. His water sits water sits about 82. The front tiles, the plastic ones, sit about 97. Just gave his dirt a spray, just going to give you a better view of him that's not uh, disrupted by the acrylic there.